Okay, let's practice with our parallel and series circuits. Uh, and this is sample problems two, but for some reason I have it listed as sample problem one, but it is really two. Okay, so three resistors, three 5 ohm resistors are connected in series. That's the important word. What is the effective, which is like total resistance of the circuit? So I know you can do it in your head, but we're going to do it uh with guess. So we know R1 equals R2 equals R3 equals 5 ohms. And our unknown is RT, because we're trying to figure out the effective resistance. And we know that RT is equal to the sum of the R's. We do it like that, which is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So that's already solved for us, so we really don't have to solve it again. So RT is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5, which equals 15 ohms. All right, let's try the next one. Uh, a 2 ohm resistor and a 6 ohm resistor are connected in parallel. So this time we're in parallel. What's the effective resistance? So this time we have two different resistances. So R1 is equal to 2 ohms and R2 is equal to 6 ohms. And again, we're trying to find the total. But this time it's 1 over RT equals the sum of 1 over the R's. So it's equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So this time we do have to solve. So the solved uh, one is going to be RT is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So I'll come over here. So when I plug it in, R T is equal to, I'll write down here, 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. So you plug it in your calculator. The best way to plug in a calculator is to find the x to the negative 1 button or something like that, or raise it to the negative 1, because then you can plug in 2 x to the negative 1 plus 6 x to the negative 1, and then you click equals, but then you click x to the negative 1 one, time, one more time. If you do it right, right, um, you should get uh, uh, 1.5 ohms. You could also do this in your head because you can say, oh, 1 half plus 1 six is the same as 3 six plus 1 six, which is 4 six, which is 2 thirds, which you flip it over, which is 3 halves. So either way will work, whatever makes your brain happy. So you can use this x to the negative 1 button to do it this way, or you can do your fractions and then flip them over at the end and do it this way. Both ways. Both ways work. All right. So, so number three says a 4 ohm and an 8 ohm resistor are connected in series to a 6 volt battery. How much current runs through each? What is the voltage drop across each? So notice the word each. That's important. So this is current and this is voltage. Um, and they're connected in series. So a whole bunch of important words in there. So we're going to say given R1 equals 4 ohms and R2 equals 8 ohms. So then we have to say, oh, 6 volts. So the way this is hooked up, if we were drawing a picture, it would look like this. Right? There's my battery. Right? And so this is a 4 ohm, and this is a 8 ohm, and this is my 6 volt battery. So this is the total, right? Because it's the only battery in the circuit as opposed to two different resistors, right? Which are adding to the resistance of the entire thing. So VT equals 6 volts. And my unknown is I1, because that's each, I2 because that's each, and V1, because it's each, and V2, because it's each. So now because it's a series circuit, I know that my R total is going to be equal to R1 plus R2. Why is that important? Because um, I need to figure out my total current. So I know that my V is equal to... I R and 
I know that my I through each one, right, is equal to my I, my I1 is equal to my I2 is equal to my I total because this is a series circuit because I know the current is going to go positive to negative like that. So I know they have the same amount of current going through them. So when I solve this, um, the only one I really need to solve, because I just, I'm going to use this equation as is, because I'm going to figure out the total. And then I'm going to solve this as I equals V over R, because I'm just going to divide both sides by R. Right, get rid of that. Um, but this is going to be my total when I do it. Right, and then there's nothing really to solve for this one, because I just know I1 equals I2 equals I total. So R total is equal to 4 plus 8 equals 12. That's an equals. Really, it is. That's an equal sign. Equals 12 ohms. Done with that one. And then uh, I total is going to be equal to V total, which was 6 divided by 12 which is 0 0.5 amps. And that's for each of them. Yeah? That's... So that's... But then I need to find the voltage, so I have to go back and do my V equals IR. So I do V equals... Uh, V1 equals 0 0.5 times 4, which is 2 volts. And then I do V2, which is equal to 0.5 times I times R, which is 8, which is 4 volts. Uh, so again, this equation, just in case you missed that, this is just V equals I R right here, right? This little part down here is V equals I R. Notice that 4 plus 2, <laughs> two plus 4 Right, if I add two plus four, it equals six, which is good because that's the total voltage, right? That's how much energy I had. Yeah. Okay. That was the hard one. Let's do the easier one. Parallel. We like parallel. I got lots of space down here now. So for a parallel, uh, this one's three ohms, eight ohms connected in parallel, so a six volt battery. So remember that six volt battery is our total. So in this case, it's going to look something like this. And we have resistor 1, and we have resistor 2. So this is 6 volts, and this is 3 ohms, and this is 8 ohms, right? So this time the current's going to split, right? It's going to come here and split and here and split and then come back together again. So my current is not going to be the same. But the voltage drop is the same, which makes this problem so much easier. So in my given... Oh, and I'm trying to figure out what is the voltage drop across each, which there's no math, and what's the current that runs through each. So given R1 equals 3 ohms, and R2 equals 8 ohms, and RT, not RT, V, that's a voltage, right? VT, that's a V, VT equals 6 volts. And we're trying to find V1, V2, voltage drop across each, and I1, and I2. But again, this one's easy because V total equals V1 equals V2 because it's in parallel, so they're all equal. And V still equals IR because that's always true. So the only thing I have to solve is my ohm equation because that all stays the same. So I'm going to divide, I want to end up with I, so I'm going to divide by R on both, right? So the R's cancel. So I end up with I is equal to V over R. So then my solution is V1 equals V2, that's a 1, uh, equals 6 volts, because that's the same for all of them. And I1, therefore, equals 6 over, look up here, three, so it's two amps, and I2 will equal six, because they're both six, right? Six divided by eight, and six divided by 
uh, 8 is 0 0.75 amps, 0 0.75 amps. Um, I could figure out my total just to do a, a quick check if I wanted to. It would come out to be 2.75 But uh, if I added it up. But I'd have to do more calculations. So I think we'll leave it at that. Two more. A little bigger. These are combination circuits. A 5 ohm resistor is in series with the two 3 ohms in parallel with each other. What is the effective resistance? So draw a picture. So here's my battery. And I've got a 5 ohm, and then we've got two in parallel, so there's two separate paths, right? So this one's 5, and this one's 3, and this one's 3. We don't know what the voltage is, some battery on there. We have no idea what it is. Um, so in my given, uh, R1 equals 5 ohms, R2 equals R3 equals 3 ohms, and my unknown is R total. And so my equation is going to be, well, it's a combination, right? So my R total is going to be the sum of this plus this, but this one's a parallel, so that's a 1 over R1, right? So my total is going to be R1 plus 1 over 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And so when I, uh, it's already solved. So now I can just plug it in. So R total is equal to 5 plus 1 over 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. So again, you can plug in your calculator. Remember that X to the negative 1 button. Oh, that's a terrible x to a negative 1 button. x. I still don't like it. Let me try to write it one more time. x to the negative 1 button. So I can do 3x to the negative 1 plus 3x to the negative 1 and then equals. Remember, always do the equals and then do x to the negative 1 plus 5. Um, if you do it right, it comes out 6.5 ohms. Or I could also do it with logic, so I know that this is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, which equals 2 over 3, which becomes 3 halves, and then 5 plus 3 halves is the same as 5 plus 1.5, which is 6.5, right? Both ways work, All right? It's the same answer. Last one. 2... Two ohm resistors are in parallel with each other and in series with a 9 ohm. So it sounds the same, right? Because here it is, parallel with each other and in series with a 9 um, with a nine ohm. So it is kind of the same. Um, it's just written backwards. Uh, so again, I have my battery and I can have my two, two ohm resistors in parallel and they're in series with another, right? I mean, that's what I have. So that's what we get. So this is 2, and this is 2, and this is 9. So it becomes pretty much the same problem, uh, except for the R's are all mixed up, but that's besides the point. So R1 is 2 ohms, R2 is 2 ohms, R3 is 9 ohms, the unknown is RT. So this time RT would equal 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus R3. And so it's already solved. So RT is equal to 1 over 1 half. You don't even really need a calculator for this one, right? Because 1 half plus 1 half is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Right? And again, you could have just come over here and said, oh, this is 1 half plus 1 half, which is 1, which is 1, and then added it to the 9 and still gotten 10. Right? So 1 plus 9 equals 10. Either way works. There you go.